So this is the first look at uh, the new Owen Clark designed Carbon Ocean Yachts built Longbow Class 40. Uh, first Class 40 to be built for, or designed and built for uh, light to moderate airs. She's uh, not designed to be a transatlantic boat, she's for inshore, offshore waters. And uh, one of the things you'll notice is the, uh, the hard chine is reduced towards the back of the boat until she comes out at a curve on the chine there. It's to reduce wetted surface and make the boat faster in uh, at low to moderate angles of heel. And we've got a kick-up rudder system, uh, primarily to uh, reduce wetted surface in, in light airs more than anything else. Uh, little beautiful detailing there. And we move on up the boat, kind of an overview of the cockpit, designed for double-handed racing. Five winches, runner winch, primary winch, and pit winch. Good protection. Perhaps not as much as the as the um, the uh, transatlantic class 40s, but then again, this boat isn't designed for that. She's an inshore, offshore boat. That's all that she's going to be raced for by her new American owner. Coming down the boat some four view windows from inside uh, another innovation here is the, the lines fed under the deck uh, this, so that the, the sheets go directly to a winch and then the trim lines either side the down haulers for the jib ring they run under the deck through uh, uh, through a purchase system so that you don't need to be on winches which means that you can adjust the sails just using one winch and uh, and then block and tackle systems for, the, for everything else. The V1 goes all the way outboard to composite chain plates, and the D1 is inboard, so we overlap the headsail, the big headsail, uh, between the V1 and the D1. Moving forward, nice clean deck, onto the seat pad eye there and forward to the bowsprit which uh, is just kind of a standard o OCD bowsprit it's um, when when it's working it's actually hanging in space there's no track involved so the bowsprit is completely loaded under compression there's no bending in the bowsprit as such and at the moment the boat's rigged for uh, conventional hoist sails with a uh, a J1 with a reef in it to take it to a J2, but there's the ability, with the ability to change that to a, a furling sail for single-handed use. Again, no really nice detailing, slightly higher volume bow than we've had on previous boats. We've flattened the stern out a bit accordingly, and I should make the boat really quick reaching whilst not adding too much wetted surface. So she's a kind of a hybrid between generation 3 boats and the very very latest transatlantic boats she's powerful enough but she's also slippery and light to moderate so um, a really good boat for American waters and for European uh, inshore offshore summers you know races like the Normandy Channel race and Fastnet which are often sail in lighter breeze <laughs>